In this video, I'm going to show how to make a logic gate out of comparators. On the Surge 79 model, there are no logic gates, but uh, we can make a logic gate using two comparators. It's useful to have logic gates on modular synthesizers for various things. For example, uh, if you have an AND gate, you can use it uh, to shorten or lengthen gates that you're using to create envelopes. Uh, using, for example, uh, you can AND together uh, the gate of the sequencer with a signal from a transient generator uh, in order to get it shorter or longer. And, for example, another use of logic gates is you can use an OR gate to funnel together different triggers from uh, more than one source. So you have one trigger stream coming into one side of the comparator, another into the other side of the comparator, and that way you can uh, merge those two streams together. Uh, to start with, I'll show you how uh, the comparator itself works in its kind of logical function. Um, I've connected the output of the comparator to the frequency control input of an oscillator in order to hear whether the output is high or low. With the comparator uh, knob in its fully anti-clockwise position, the pitch is low, the output pitch is low, and the output level on the output of the comparator is low. If we turn this to the fully clockwise position, then it goes high. So I'm now going to show, using this truth table here on the left, what, how this comparator works uh, with two inputs, uh, a voltage input to the left-hand side, the positive side, a voltage input to the right-hand side, the negative side. And I'm using two dual processors here in order to provide these um, kind of on-off type of signals, high-low signals. So, with the knob of the comparator turned fully anti-clockwise, a high value, a high voltage, on the plus side will cause the output to go high. But a high uh, voltage on the negative side won't have the same effect. So we have this uh, truth table, which has, is low and low, produces low on the output, high and low produces high, low and high produces low, and high and high also produces low. Uh, with the knob of the comparator turned to fully clockwise, this is the truth table. Uh, low, low, gives us high, as you can hear, uh, a high and a low gives us high, a low and a high gives us low, and a high and a high gives us high. Well, this is interesting to know, but it's not a logic function. So let's have a look. I mean, basically, what we can see from this is that if we have the knob turned fully uh, clockwise and we turn the negative side up to a high voltage, this basically works as an inverter. High here becomes low at the output. So we're going to make use of that inverter function in the lower comparator. So we have in the lower comparator we have the knob turned fully clockwise and put that into the negative input of the second comparator and then we put the voltage that we had before into the positive side. Now we have our logic gates. If we look at this truth table with the knob of the comparator, that's to say the middle comparator, fully anti-clockwise. So 
is anti-clockwise maximum. Anti-clockwise is should be minimum. Okay. Um, then a low and a low produces a low at the output. A high and a low produces a low at the output. A high, a low and a high produces a low at output, but two highs at the input produces a high on the output and we've created our AND truth table. This is not correct though, it says anti-clockwise, maximum it should be clockwise. Now let's look what happens if we have the knob of the uh, middle comparator fully clockwise. Uh, what happens then? Uh, low and low produce low. High on the left, uh, that's to say the positive input produces a high. High on the uh, right, going through the inverter, produces a high on the output. And a high and a high together produce a high. So now we've created the OR gate. And that's how it's done. There's nothing more to it. Uh, you can create gates just similar to the ones that you have on the Dutfer uh, A166, for example. I'm sure with a little bit of ingenuity, you can probably work out how to make NAND gates and NOR gates. But I'll leave that as an exercise for another time.